Are you ready to take a hammer to your Samsung tablet or phone because the apps just will not open? They keep crashing and sending you right back to the home screen. Don't worry. I've got a quick fix that you can take care of in about three to four minutes and we'll get you on your way. Let's get started. But before we get started, I'm just going to run through a few of the symptoms just so we make sure that we're on the same page with what's going on and then we will be able to fix it together. So what happened is I was on vacation and my niece's tablet stopped working. And at first it was just YouTube. She would click on the YouTube icon. It would start to open for about five seconds. It wouldn't get past that opening YouTube symbol and then it would just crash, take her back to the home screen. After about 24 hours, that problem spread to pretty much every other app that she had on her uh, tablet. Some of the apps would open, however, they would refuse to establish a connection with any previous account that she had. So she could open Minecraft and it would take her to the main menu, but she could not play under her character. It says something there was a disconnect between the network and her character. More than likely, this is going to be a Google Play services issue. And I have a screen record of exactly how I fixed that. Uh, there's one crucial step that I found that's not listed anywhere else on the internet. And it's something so mundane, but we will get that taken care of and we'll get you going. So let's get started. All right, folks, from the home screen, go ahead and swipe down from the top of your screen to reveal your main menu there. Click on the gear icon on the top right, and that will take you to your settings. Once you get in your settings, we're going to scroll down the menu options to where we see apps. So once you find that, go ahead and tap that or click on it. And when you get there, scroll down to where you see Google Play Services and go ahead and tap on that uh, as well. When that opens up, scroll down to where you see storage. Tap on that and clear the cache, which is an option at the bottom right. That'll only take a few seconds and once that's done, go ahead and back out one time and go to the top right where you see three dots stacked, go ahead and hit uninstall updates. And this will remove the latest corrupted update that occurred with Google Play services and take you back to kind of the factory version or at least the previous version. When that's done, go ahead and back out once more to where all of the apps are, hit the three dots again and hit reset app preferences at the bottom there. And this will clear out all of your permissions for your apps and all the different things that you had set up. So you're going to have to redo that with all of the apps that you open. But at least after this, you will be able to open them. So when that's done, the next critical step that you cannot forget is you need to restart your device. So go ahead and restart it. And once that is done and everything powers back up from the home screen, you're going to open Google Play, the Google Play Store. And once you get in there, go ahead and type in Google Play Services. You're not going to see it right away. So what you need to do is click where it says learn more, looking for Google Play Services, learn more. Click on the blue text. It'll take you to this screen here. And then down in the blue hyperlink text, it says app details. Click on that. That will then take you to here where you can now update your Google Play Services. So go ahead and do that. The tablet that I was working with took about two to three minutes to do this. So it will take a little bit of time. Once that's done though, you should be able to start testing all of your apps to make sure that they work. So we're going to start off with checking YouTube since that's where the problem seemed to seem to begin. So when I open the YouTube app, this is about as far as it would go in the past and it would then crash and take me back to the home screen. But now it's asking, do I want different permissions allowed or disallow. And I'm going to just hit allow just to get through here. And it takes me to the actual app and I can watch videos from here. So we're going to assume that this is in working order. And now I'm going to check her Minecraft game because that was also another concern that she had. It would not connect to her avatar. So when I get back in here, it does connect. It, her gamer profile shows up on the right hand side there. Everything looks like it works. So hopefully when you follow these steps step by step, everything will work for you. And thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.